It just seemed like, look, the stars were aligned. It seemed perfect. I've had a few opportunities to leave in the past that haven't interested me. However, um, the Derby one was a, was a different level, really. Preparing to go in to Derby's training ground the first time and meet the players for the first time. And you, yep. you said that there was a prior commitment that meant you went away over the weekend. You're the yep. sort of person that was deliberating over what those first few impact lines would be as you gathered the players around you. So you hit the ground running. Are you, yeah. um, are you, were, were you, were you worried about the transfer of your personal brand and characteristics and authenticity and how it would translate to no disrespect to Rotherham, a slightly bigger stage? Yeah, uh, 100%. I think, um, but the fact that we signed Wednesday and the compensation sort of went through Thursday, so it didn't get announced till Thursday. Um, and the lads had been given the time off for international break. We weren't meeting them till Monday. I had loads of time. I, I was playing golf with Richie and Hammy, and I kept thinking, right, I'm going to say this, I'm going to say that, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Right, I need to reach out to him. Uh, I had loads of, de not demons, too much thought truth be told too much thought and then in the end i'd reached out to all the heads of the staff i'd spoke to curtis davis at length uh and then over the weekend which was quite nice i got a few people reaching out to me who knew who uh sorry uh, a derby player had reached out to them for, so, so for example john taylor and joe newell two of my favorite rotherham players of all time who i managed were at a party with james collins my new striker at Derby so they sent a picture of them three going this guy will get you promoted gaffer and all that so I was texting them texting them back and having a laugh and a joke and then really it made me realize over the weekend that look although Derby players you know I don't want to be offensive but you know may have had better careers or you know are a bigger club whatever you want to say and you think oh these are going to be different they're not they're just the same lads who have just been signed by a different club in the same way I'm the same manager that I was a week ago. I just work at a different football club. So I decided, well, I'm not going to change. I'm not going to like over-prepare. Just on day one, I just talked to him for about 10 minutes, if that, just about who I am and um, what I expect and what I will change in the culture thing. There's certain things at the football club that I want to change. and But my principles are what, what I stand for as a man and what I want them to stand for as men. And that was it. I didn't to do a massive presentation and massive fireworks display. It was more about the fact that this is how we're going to play. This is what I expect. And, you know, I think you'll have a good time. Really, that was sort of it. But I did, you're right, I did consider it so many times, too many times, really. Um, and then in the end, I went down the, look, the, the all my talks, every time I speak to players, when I speak to the press, whatever, I don't plan anything. I just go with my heart. So I thought, right, you know, that's who you are. Just go with who you are. And if it isn't good enough, then that's who I am. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to pretend. I'm not going to act. I'm not going to, you know, over-prepare and be too anal. I'm just going to go with my heart. So that's how, that's how I roll.